Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Uh, so as I said, today's uh, demo session will have some discussions on the basics and we'll also discuss if you have any specific expectations for the trainings, any specific topics that you're looking for, uh, feel free to uh, 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 mention that up front so that I'll be prepared. Uh, so here is the course outline that I have for the training. So we'll be discussing about uh, BDM overview and history. I'm expecting everyone to have some basic knowledge on uh, big data. If not, you know, you, you may start uh, Googling out a few topics uh, online from today onwards. I would also be having discussions if there are questions. I would give you some brief info. But otherwise, I expect uh, everyone to know the basics. So this PPT was uh, created on October 2018. Uh, so it may not have the latest content, but uh, most of what it will have uh, is what is there in the product right now. So this is the course outline. Uh, we would be discussing about the overview history, the developer tool basics. We would uh, see how uh, something called a data viewer works in the developer tool. We'll compare it with Power Center if any of you have worked with Power Center before. We'll see what a dynamic mapping is. We will see how parameterization is done. Uh, how we create workflows uh, in this product and so on. And so we would also uh, city, city, sorry, um, are we covering anything to uh, plug in with uh, Hadoop environment or any other any other uh, data source? Are we are we dealing with that in this part of part of this course? So in this course, we will definitely work with uh, HDFS and Hive. Hive, okay. Right. We would also have processing on Hadoop, which means uh, we would create our own Spark code using Informatica, uh, which will run as Spark application on uh, Cloudera-based uh, Hadoop. So Cloudera Hadoop is what I have the access of, and okay. that is what I'll be demonstrating in the course. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, thank you. Sure. So as we move on, we will see what uh, Informatica polygot computing. We'll see how monitoring and troubleshooting can be done uh, in this product. Uh, we will see the challenges, the performance tuning uh, factors that uh, I have learned about uh, over the years. There are a few uh, bugs in the product as well, uh, which we will be discussing. There are some tricks for enhanced development and so on. So that's the basic course outline. Uh, there's also something called complex file parsing. This is where we will be seeing how to parse an XML or JSON or both, depending on the time that we have. Uh, so that's pretty much it about the course outline. If anybody has any questions uh, so far, do let me know. Okay, so looks like no one has a question up till now. Uh, I hope the topics are fine. Again, as we go on, you may bring up any new topics that you want to discuss and I'll be uh, happy to add them. Uh, there's again some noise coming in. Uh, can everyone please go on mute, whoever is not talking right now? I see some noise coming in from Sojanya. Sojanya, could you please go on mute? Sure, thanks. So let's have a few, uh, a very uh, quick discussion about uh, the overview and history of BDM. It was released to handle big data exclusively along with uh, processing capabilities, which means that instead of uh, running any mappings or any workflows on Informatica server machine, uh, we would have it running on Hadoop. So whatever we execute from BDM, we may execute as MapReduce job or as Spark uh, application as well. So we will see how all of that works. Uh, is there a question? Uh, we know that you... Okay. 
so whoever is not speaking i would request everyone to stay on mute please uh, that would help us not get interrupted so the latest version so far for informatica bdm is version 10.2.1 that is the latest version uh, it was as of october 2018 there are a lot of changes uh, over the period of 5 years uh, since bdm was launched we would be discussing all of that in details as well so again i'll not take all of these slides right now i'll share the ppt uh, with everyone once the training dates and time is finalized uh this is how the architecture of bdm looks like so you can see on the right side these are the components of power center for example you have an integration service you have a repository service you do have a database for repository and then you also have something called a metadata manager service so what you see in blue color on the right side are power center components and what you see on the left side are more specific to the idq product or bdm product as well so instead of integration service which was used for executing any etl jobs or mappings as we call it or workflows was the integration service and in terms of bdm or idq we use something called a data integration service so the name here is changed overall functionality remains somewhat the somewhat same not much of a difference you also have something called a repository service in power center however in developer tool or idq or bdm we have model repository service as you can see on the left side there is also something called analyst tool analyst tool is mainly intended for a uh, business analysts or data users to look at the data to do some basic data profiling scorecarding and so on so we will see all of these components in details however if you have any questions right now do let me know yeah i have a question here sure yeah so in informatica developer client tool we used to have kind of rules right for idq mm -hmm. so these kind of rules will be using in bdm as well yeah so the so the client tool for bdm is the same as uh, the one that uh, was there for idq previously which is the developer tool and whatever you created in developer tool previously can be used with bdm as well uh, you can use the same rules uh, in the same uh, repository if you have uh, for bdm so in the sense the developer client tool we can use as a uh, data quality as well as data management both right exactly okay so okay both can be clubbed right both can be in sync right as long as you have the license and your repository is using the same license you can uh, in fact use the content that you created previously for idq in bdm okay right the purpose of fees both are different right uh there there are some additional features that bdm brings in so whatever was there in idq all of those can be used with bdm as well so one difference is that you know in idq we had something called data profiling and earlier the data profiling used to happen only on informatica server machine however with the introduction of bdm now data profiling can happen on hadoop as well so that is one big advantage uh, similarly there are other things for example there are transformations like data processor transformation which was not there previously with idq it has been launched with a uh, bdm so it it allows you to process unstructured data we will see uh, uh, how to process unstructured data or semi structured data with a uh, bdm as we go on in this training. yeah these, these both were there since developer client tool was installed launched right so so it depends on which version you have worked so if you worked on okay. idq uh, prior to 2013 or 14 it wouldn't be there however in in the year 2014 bdm was launched and post that uh, it would be available in developer tool the data processor as well and okay. one more advantage is processing on hadoop as well as dynamic mapping so earlier with idq we could never execute an informatica mapping on hadoop clusters but with bdm we can execute it on hadoop clusters instead of on informatica server machine which used to happen earlier So okay. I hope that answers the question. Yeah.
Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Okay, so this is another view of the same BDM architecture. You can see uh, the various components here. You can also see Hadoop cluster at the bottom. So the processing uh, of mappings would happen at Hadoop cluster level as long as we select uh, any engines that allow us to run it on Hadoop. So we'll discuss all of these in details as we go on. These are the various uh, features that are present in Informatica Big Data Management Platform. So you can uh, implement governance, you can implement uh, security, you can do profiling, you can do processing, you can do push down on Hadoop, you can use things like polyglot computing, as you can see in this uh, screen. There's also something called Informatica Native. So uh, those of you who have used Power Center before, uh, uh, you would know that Informatica's mapping or workflow that we created in Power Center uh, was using a Java code internally, and it used to execute as a Java process on the Informatica server machine. So the same thing can happen in BDM if you use the Informatica native engine. However, if you want, you can make the processing happen on Hadoop as well. So that is one advantage of BDM. So again, moving on to the next slide, uh, you could create an intelligent data lake uh, with another product of Informatica called IDL or EDC as they uh, bunch it along with. Uh, it's called the Enterprise Data Catalog. Again, that's not in the agenda for this course, but uh, if anybody is interested, we would have some discussions on EDC as well. So there are a lot of terminologies that you should know uh, when you use BDM, but again, we will not discuss all of these in details right now. Uh, I don't want it to be completely theoretical today. So let me just get to the tool and have a basic. So I hope my screen is visible now. Uh, this is how the Informatica developer tool looks like. Let me know if anybody is not able to see my screen. Uh, so this is Eugene, one question, sorry. Um, the Informatica domain for IDQ and the BDM are the same or will have to have separate domain? Yes, we may have the same domain for both. All right. And, okay. and the same repository as well. All right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, this is how the Informatica developer tool looks like. On the left side, similar to Power Center, you have a repository manager here. And you can see there are two repositories configured for me right now. We'll see how to configure them as well. On the right side, uh, sorry, I got interrupted again. Um, can we all go on mute if not speaking? Uh, Karun, could you go on mute, please? Thank you. So what you see on the right side is the workspace. Uh, what you see on the left side is the repository manager. Uh, let's see how to configure a domain. So when you open the developer tool, you'll not see any repositories configured on the left side. So the way we configure it is we go to file, then we click on connect to repository and you have this link for configuring domains so you need to click on this link once you click there you'll have the option to add a new domain you can give the domain name the host name and then the port number that you want to connect to once you give this information you can click on finish for me there's already a domain configured here so I'll leave it as it is. So once you have connected to the domain, you get the option to select the repository within the domain. I hope uh, most of you are familiar with what a repository is. 
if you have any questions let me know so you can see the various repositories uh, available within the specific domain uh, now you can double click on any one of them to be able to connect so once you do the over here now you can right click on the repository go to new and say project so you can give a name of a project unlike power center which has only folders and then within the folders you have uh, all the various sub components such as sources targets and so on for bdm we have something called a project so inside the project we can create folders and subfolders which may have various sources targets and objects as well uh, so let me begin with creation of a project uh, let me name it bdm demo So once I click on finish, it will uh, complete the creation of the project. Once the project is created, uh, we'll see it within the repository. designer repository manager workflow manager and workflow monitor so unlike power center which has multiple components for different activities uh, in bdm we have only a single common platform which is called informatica developer so in this platform itself we would do uh, monitoring of a job we would do uh, execution of a workflow execution of a mapping we would do creation of the mappings creation of folders creation of projects and so on so one of the motive of creating this tool was to bring everything into a single platform instead of having multiple different sub components thank you right so even for deployment also we can do this developer tool only yes so if you are talking about code deployment from one environment to another it's yeah. pretty much similar to power center however in power center you do that through repository manager component and in developer tool you can just right click on any mappings that you have so let me just see any mappings here so let's say these are one of my mappings i can just right click on any mappings within the same developer tool and i can click on export and the same way while importing it i can just right click on any folders and i can click on import okay Right, so you see the import and export buttons here. That's how you import and export any code. Yeah. Right, so that's pretty much it. Any other questions? Do we have any kind of scheduling here? option scheduling so, kind of jobs so there is an option uh, of scheduling there is something called uh, informatica scheduler that this tool uses if we want we can use that for scheduling okay in developer client tool only again scheduling can't happen via developer client tool but uh, there is this informatica administrator if you worked on power center uh, you would know that there is something called informatica administrator that power center uses so the same administrator tool works for uh, BDM as well and through administrator tool you can do scheduling as well.
Okay. I do have information on scheduling which I would be showing uh, as we go on in this training. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, so uh, uh, so because of some issue in my product, uh, uh, in the software that I have right now, I'll not be able to, uh, you know, showcase anything on the tool. But yeah, if you have any questions, we can have discussions on that. If you have any specific topics to be discussed, uh, we can cover that right now. Uh, so this Eugene, again, uh, for command line uh, uh, more like if you want to, create a project or export for any deployment or run the workflow. We use in the power center PM rep and repository command right? PM. Uh, uh, is there anything like here? How do we do this? Like right, so in power center we use uh, four different command line utilities. One is PM rep, PM CMD, infra rep and infra CMD for various different activities that we want to perform. Yeah. However, in this uh, BDM tool, also we have a command line, but we have a common command line as well. It's called infra CMD. So through infra CMD commands, we can do export of projects, we can do exports of mappings and so on. If we want, we can bring down the server, we can bring up the server and so on. Everything right. with the single command line platform, which is called infra CMD. We, I do have everything in this PPT that I have, uh, but yeah. Once we get access to the software, we would discuss that as well. Yeah, thank we you. will try to have a demo. Right, so this is how the infra CMD command looks like. So is is it supporting all kind of transformation which we are having in power center or is there any kind of uh, difference we are having here? So with version 10.2.1 we have most of the transformations available. Uh, and however, if you are working on previous uh, products, for example 10.1.0 you may not have all the transformations. So may like uh, stored processor can work here? Uh, there is something called a SQL transformation in developer tool as well. So uh, for stored procedure, I'm not really sure. I'll check that and I'll confirm. But SQL transformation is present here. So I think uh, that's all I have for now. Uh, there will be a lot of topics and subtopics that we will be discussing in this training. Uh, there is workflow rec recovery, there is workflow and application creation. You will see what's an application in Informatica uh, Big Data Management. Uh, the application term was not present in Power Center. So we will discuss what that is all about. We will see what's a smart executor, what's a polyglot engine. Um, I do have a lot of other things. There is something called Hive Mode. We will see what Hive Mode is. Uh, I'll also share this PPT soon so that all of you can take a look. And this is how you monitor a mapping execution in a BDM tool. So we do it via Informatica monitor uh, tool. We'll see how that works as well. So I think that's all I have. If there are any other questions, we can uh, uh, have a discussion. Otherwise, uh, that's all for today. Hi, this is Hari Prasad. Actually, I joined a little bit late. Sure. Uh, uh, suppose if we join the course, uh, will will we get uh, the access for the tool or? Uh, so uh, yeah, this was one question that was asked previously as well. But oh. I'm afraid I won't be able to give a demo. I mean, I'll not be able to give lab access mm -hmm. as a part of this training. Oh, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Th thanks everyone for joining. Uh, if you have any questions, you can stay back. Otherwise, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Thank you. Sure. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.